Getting up at 6 a.m. for the birds. Okay, so the diary is how I save game. Ah, hello. You must be Alex. I'm Celine. It's so nice to meet you. I live in the north cottage of here. I'm so excited that we'll be neighbors. In fact, I brought you a little housewarming, um, field warming present. Here's a hoe. You'll need to till your fields. I love gardening myself, so I had an extra one laying around. If you want to expand your field size, though, you'll need a shovel. There are only if available at my family's general store. And here are three, are three bags of tulips used to get you started. Our store also colors a selection of other seeds. I hope you'll consider growing lots of flowers. I'm more into potatoes. Thank you. I love flowers. I'm so glad. You know, Mysteria has a rich horticultural history. Morning, neighbor. The name's Hayden. I ran Sweetwater Farm to the west. You gotta tell me your name. You don't gotta tell me your name, Alex. You're already the talk of the town. Yeah. Is he daddy material? Yes, he's daddy material. Morning, neighbor. Name's Hayden. I run Sweet. I already said that. Oh, okay. Hayden! You almost galloped straight into poor Alex. Don't mind my horse. He just likes meeting new folks as much as I do. <laughs> yeah! It's fine. Pleasure's all mine. Farmer after my own heart. Here, I brought you a little something. Take this watering can. You need to water your crops every day if you want them to grow big and strong. And turnip seeds are good raw and better cooked. The whole town will surely appreciate more shipments of fresh produce. So switching between the two doesn't do anything with the heart. Okay. It's been good a while since I've been out here. Things sure have gotten overgrown. Need any partners and getting started with your food? Uh, thanks, but I already know why I went about a farm. Wow, so you've done this before. That's great. Now don't be shy, Alex. Come anytime you want to chat. I'd love to introduce you to all my animals. Sure, you're eager to meet up with Adeline. Just head up north. And the road will take you into town. Oh, I have a sword. Okay, that's easy enough. The scroll wheel feels inverted. Mm, controls. Okay. Cross the bridge. Wait, can I pick that dandelion? Yes, I could pick the dandelion. A wildflower that grows in the spring. Oh, yeah, 
proximity or something. There's the marker. Can I stab the bee? Nope. Okay. Alex, I'm glad I bumped into you. I'd forgotten to mention. Make sure that you put anything you want to sell into the shipping bin next to your house. And I'll pick up your shipments and leave your pay overnight. That is... While it is currently a uh, reoccurring thing in cozy farming games, in hindsight, it does sound creepy. The shops in this town depend on the stock I procure for them, so we're all looking forward to your business. I have 50 coins. I'm not going to buy anything because I don't know what I do with any of it. Hi there! Alex, I was hoping I'd run into you. Your timing is perfect. I'm sure you're eager to start helping Mysteria and its citizen. So I'm here to tell you all about our town's request board. Come with me. <coughs> <coughs> so I'm not sure if you saw the character creation, but it does allow you to choose basically any pronoun you want. Um, so far, I'm not sure the effect in the game because everything I've had has been gender neutral. Basically, either my name or the word you. As the name implies, villages post their request here every day. You'll receive war rewards whenever you complete them. It's a great way to earn money, equipment, and most importantly, renown. Can't wait to get started. So glad. Allow me to explain the basics of renown. As you know, Mysteria is just one of the many towns that make up the Kingdom of Aldaria. All of them receive a town rank according to their renown level. Towns with higher town rank enjoy more popularity and more support from the capital. Mysteria's renown level was improving prior to the earthquake. Since then, though, we're down two entire town ranks. As daughter and heir of Mysterious Baron, Improving this situation is my highest priority. With your help, we'll repair the earthquake's damage, raise mysterious town rank, and put this village, village back on the map. Why don't you go ahead now and accept your first request? It's one I just put up for you. Twist my arm. Greet the townsfolks. Sure, you've met some of the neighbors already. Introduce yourself to all the townsfolk, then talk to Adelaide. The map will help me locate everyone. Perfect. That was easy, right? I'm sure you want to meet your new neighbors as much as they want to meet you. And as you get to know them better, your journal can keep track of your relationships and even document them their favorite gifts. And what do you like, Adeline? Well, tulips are nice and they're in season right now. I hope you'll be growing some on your farm. All right, I'm gonna actually make notes because this game doesn't have any wiki sheets or anything like that. I have started some, Adeline. You can view the maps in your journal. It should give you a good idea of where people are. Isn't that helpful? And each time you meet someone, it will update. We can think of this as the first step on our path to restoring the town. Isn't it exciting? Come talk to me once you're done meeting everyone. The cute emoji faces. So you're just gonna stand there? Okay. General store. Hold! Hello there, you must be the new face in town. I don't know why that's just the voice that my brain said. Nice to meet you, Alex. I'm a Holt. I've been wondering who'd move into that old farm. <laughs> I'm P. 
pleased. I'm pleased to meet you. <laughs> That's a good one. Anyway, my wife, Wahara, and I run the general store. Our girls, Celine and Dell, who help out as well. Stop by if you never need supplies. Um, so escapes the journal. So I've made met six out of twenty-two, and so all the gray-scaled ones are the ones I haven't met. <laughs> okay. Okay. Potato oh, seeds, turnip, daffodil, tulip. <laughs> we'll buy one potato seed because that's all we could afford. Okay, no one's back here. It feels weird to just walk into their rooms. Yeah. Ah, you must be the wife. You must be Alex. Welcome to Mysteria. I'm nowhere. I run the general store in town with my husband and her daughters. I'm also the head of the Chamber of Commerce in the Saturday Market. Though unfortunately the Saturday Market has been on hiatus since the earthquake caused the bridge to collapse. Valor is currently the only merchant that even attempts the trip these days. And he has to do it all on foot. A uh, broken bridge, let's fix that. Adeline did mention you'd be helping the town in exchange for the farm. If the broken bridge were repaired, all sorts of merchants could resume bringing their wares to town on Saturdays. You'll love it. Anyways, if you need anything in the way of CEO supplies, please stop by the store anytime. Beller, halt. I presume that's something I'm going to have to fix up. I thought the skeleton was the doctor. Okay, so there's a few potions in here. A fairy potion. So, that's like a revive potion? But you drink it in advance? My brain says try to the closet. Okay. Valen's diary. Better leave it alone. Well, that's so nice of you. The trap door to the basement. It's locked. Ah! Valen's the town's doctor. I run the clinic, no need for formalities. You could just. Nice to meet you. Sure thing, Doc. Valen is. <laughs> Running a farm is hard work. Be sure that you get plenty of sleep and eat well to keep your energy up. So she's professional, but not too professional. Hello, stop, stop. Stop. Great, 
Yes, you're the carpenter. Nice to meet you. With your uncle, Layden. Landon. If you have any crafting... What kind of crafting? Well, woodworking is my specialty. I'm sure you'll want to make things like fences and furniture for your farm. Feel free to use the crafting station near the town square. If you stop by the carpenter shop, you could also purchase some recipes if you like. Anyways, good luck getting settled in. Let me know if you need anything. What's the point of having a carpenter when I can't have him make things? Rude. Hello, children. Dell. Okay, she's even tinier than Celine. Are you the one moving to the old farm? I'm Dell. That place is haunted, you know. Haunted with monsters. I swear I saw one hiding behind a tree. Let me know if you have any trouble and I can take care of them for you. Are you the new farmer? My name's Maple. Where did you live before you came here? Have you ever been to the capital? That's where the royal family lives, you know. You could ask me anything. I know all about them. Hello. Do you like bugs? Yes. Excellent. My name's Luke. I'm so excited to have a fellow insect enthusiast in town. Finally! Wait until you tell me, sisters! Okay. So apparently I can't just walk into the stables. There is someone apparently in here though. Hemlock! Now who do we have here? Are you the new farmer everyone's been talking about? Great to meet you, Alex. I'm Hemlock. If you ever need a good meal, a cold drink, or some good company, be sure to stop by the Sleeping Dragon Inn. Don't poke the Sleeping Dragon. There's always a cauldron of hearty soup hot for anyone who wants a bowl. Celine. Hello, you must be the new farmer. My name's Serena. My family... Runs the Sleeping Dragon Inn. It's a pleasure to meet you, Alex. So what brings you to Mr. Um, Freeland? Adeline worked really hard on this initiative. I have to admit, I wasn't sure anyone would take her up on it. I'm glad you did, though. I can't wait to see what types of produce you grow. Well, I'll help you stop by and try my cooking sometime. I'll be looking forward to it. And then a little one? Nope. Josephine. Hello there. You must be our new father. Adeline mentioned you'll be arriving soon. <laughs> Delighted to meet you, Alex. You could call me Josephine, though I also go by Joe. Yep, she's deaf there, her seven lady. <laughs> I run by the sleeping dragon in with my husband, Hemlock, and our children, Raina, Maple, and Luke. Have you met them all yet? Stop by any time, dear. You're always welcome whether you need a meal or just want to chat. It'd be my pleasure to serve up by the... Okay, that cleared the house. I knew you only just moved into town, but I was hoping you could keep an eye out for Celine since you just down the road. She only recently moved out to her own place and her mother worries. Of course. Wait, dude, dude, dude. Oh, you're the daddy material. Mm. 
Uh, let's go up here. Yeah, so there's two people in here. The bathhouse. Oh my goodness, I want to go. So you're the newcomer. Is that right? Well, Alex, you could call me Juniper. I recently opened the one and only bathhouse in this backwater village. What's a lady like you doing in a place like this? Well, like you, I have my own reasons for being here. Anyways, please stop in often. By the look of it, you could certainly use it. Rude. Hundred Tesserae. You can't Wait, there's one other person. Can I meet the dog? Oof! Dozy! Good boy, Dozy. Dozy was literally one of the people I had to be in this girl. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love that. Huh. Exploring the town, historical site to make come across new travels. This area is a hot spot for archaeology, you know. If you notice any raised areas in the ground, use a shovel or a pick sacks on them. You never know what you might excavate. Okay, this is their manor. We'll check it out later. It has a bunch of columns with all the different like um shield for all three colors, so you have to use that one specific gun that so you just get off of it. <sighs> so from my perspective it looks like the dude's blindfolded. How am I supposed to get a shovel? I can't afford shit in this shop. Kick punch. It's all mine if you want to test me. Sure, you're fine. The name's March. What do you want? Charming. Must be this farmer folks are talking about. Regardless of what Adeline says, we don't need an outsider come in and solve our problems for us. I We have everything under control. Just don't get in the way. Ulrich. Are you the new farmer everyone's talking about? The one who's coming to help out the town? That's super cool. Nice to meet you, Alex. My brother and I live at the back space. I hope we could be friends. Okay, we met everyone over here. Oh, hi there! I'm Terethia, and who might be you? The ah, that's all right. Adeline mentioned her plan a while back. I didn't realize someone had taken her up on it. 
I run a little tacky shop out by the beach. I sell fishing rods and a small selection of freshly cut fish. Feel free to stop by. Okay, so we does not really work for me. Never again. Did you ever make it up? Okay, so you did it like in a week. Quest details. Got three. Yeah, it took me about two hours. <laughs> But I was also using Kaijin. These small white berries are forged in spring, used in a variety of cooking recipes. Wait, did you do it out of the Kaijin? Oh god, I thought you did it smartly as a, a warlock. <laughs> I wonder if I could harvest that. Oh yeah, you were one of those guys. <laughs> Once I get like a scythe or something. Back in D1, I was a hammer boy. And before hammers came out, I was a lightning smashy boy. The art style on this very much reminds me of Pokemon. If it was put on a big screen. Yeah. I'll see. Oh my. Now who do we have here? Alex? That's a nice name. My name is Elsie. I live in the manor house with my niece and nephew, Adeline and Eileen. Their parents, the Baron and Baroness, spend most of their time at the capital, especially these days. I once did too. What grand times. But spending time in Miss Dewey really start to appreciate country living. Well, be sure to stop by for a chat any time, dear. I'll be sure to stop by. And even some romantic advice if you need it. be the one lady Adeline was telling us about. My nephew Reese is around your age. He's taking the lead at the top of the soft since I have retired. We sell everything from crafting stations to furniture recipes to farm buildings and home drain. Stop by anytime. <coughs> well, I'm coming along. Folks, help out around here, so don't be shy asking. So we need to go back to this way. Okay, where is this dude? I 
think if I go this way. We got here. Okay, the museum. So we could donate to it. I can't believe it's taken me almost a whole day just to meet everybody. Henrietta, the chicken cuts at you with regal air. You're sure this must be Hadron? Yeah, to Hadron's prize winning chicken. Pleasure to meet you, Henrietta. Henrietta pecks the ground indifferently to your blatant attempt to get on her good side. Yes, the chicken was the final person we had to meet. Two of the people of the town we had to meet were animals. So I could cut the... Okay. I am home, basically. Now, yeah, obviously. 